Welcome in everybody to another edition of the weekly Copperheads Report. I'm Ryan Boyd. I'm joined by Kevin Noonan. And Kevin, the Southern Ohio Copperheads right now are at 19 and 15. They've played, uh, well, some not great baseball of late. They've only won three of 10. However, in their recent matchup with the Cincinnati Steam, game two of that doubleheader, they won 13 to nothing. Probably the most complete performance of the year with the victory. They're fifth in the playoff standings right now. Five big games upcoming to end the season. What do they have to do to secure their playoff spot? Well, they have to do exactly what they did against the Steam, and that is uh, be complete in all phases of the game. You need to have solid pitching, solid defense, and find a way to convert with runners in scoring position. They were able to do all of those things against the Steam, and if they do that, you like to think their chances are pretty good for these last few games to maybe move up a little bit in the standings. As I said before, Southern Ohio is currently fifth in the GLSCL standings. The top six teams do go to the postseason, but only a couple of games separate all of the top five uh, from each other. So the Copperheads could still finish anywhere, one through five, depending on how the last five games kind of shake themselves out. So we don't know what exactly will happen. If you're a top two team, you get a bye week through the first round, or a bye, not really a week, but a bye through that first round. You don't have to play the one game playoff. So the Copperheads would love to be uh, any, anywhere but the three through six. Uh, do you think they can work themselves up to the one, two, or is that gonna be too tall of a test? You know, quite honestly, Ryan, I think it might be too tall of a task at this point. It is still possible, uh, but they are going to have, a, have to have a very nice stretch right here uh, for the last five games of the season. But I think it's completely realistic to think they would get a three or four, which would still be a first round home game, which is certainly what this team has to be shooting for. Uh, the one and two isn't out of the question, but it is looking a little tough at this point. As Kevin said, if the Copperheads are a three or a four seed, they will play a home game at the very beginning of August. The first week is when the postseason is played out. If they're a five or a six, they'll go on the road. If you want to follow the standings, just go to the GLSCL website. Very easy to find. Just put it in Google, and you'll find all the updated standings right there as the Copperheads play their final five games. Those final five games, one against Xenia on Friday, two at Grand Lake, the, the bottom team in the league right now on Saturday, and then two against a very, very good Lima team on the last day of the regular season. Uh, what, do you, what do you like about their chances in those five games? Do you think they can take care of those three easier opponents before Lima? Yeah, I absolutely think they can. Just because of how they played against Cincinnati, that's the type of game that will spark this team moving forward. And as you said, the first three games all lower than Southern Ohio in the standings. So you'd like to like their chances uh, going into those three games. And then obviously at home against Lima is going to be a very tough task, but it is at Bob Wren Stadium. So that does increase their chances to come out victorious a little bit. Uh, but like you said, it's gonna come down to being able to convert on those games they need to win. And if so, then they'll be in good position come Sunday against Lima. We'd like to see you out here at the ballpark, so if you can, be here Friday or Sunday. And if you can't, listen to Kevin and I. We'll always be available on the radio at Power 105 or on CopperheadBaseball.com. Just click on the home or away link, depending on where the game's being played. And also, as I always tell you guys, make sure you look into our other forms of media, Facebook page, Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and our YouTube page. Search Copperheads Baseball, and you'll find our weekly reports, our recaps, and other stuff from the other people around the Copperheads. It's a really, really cool way to stay connected. But with that being said, this has been one of your weekly reports for the Southern Ohio Copperheads. We'll see you next time.